Hello, welcome to Real Magic Review. My name is Steve Faulkner, and this is Trapped by Ruben Villagrand with a little bit of Salted. Before I do this review, that isn't really a review, let's get this straight. People say, oh, you always review things positively, you never slate things. Not interested, don't want to, because I don't get them to slate. I'm not buying things that are rubbish. And things that are really rubbish, you can kind of tell. If you want to hear people slating things, go on the cafe and type in any magic trick into the search box and you'll get loads of people slating it, regardless of how good it is, and you'll enjoy that. So uh, I'm not doing it. This is the good stuff, and this is the good stuff. Before we do this, like and subscribe, talking about good stuff, have a look at onlinemagic.co. The emails I've had recently about that have been really surprising. I'm obviously proud of it, I love it, but I know how biased I am, and I'm riddled with a lack of self-belief a lot of the time. So when I get emails, like the one I got this morning, I'm not going to read it out, don't worry, because I haven't got permission to do so, but from Caleb, that's all I'll say, first thing, I will be replying to your email, but I haven't because it deserves more than a quick in the car reply. It's profoundly moved me, and it's, I'm not, you know, it sounds a bit kind of, iffy to kind of read read it out because it's a bit self-aggrandizing or it would sound so but it, it was i really appreciate that's what i want to say so many of you have messaged recently since the video about me kind of trying to find my way again uh, which is happening yay uh, and that's fine that's all part of the process but it just reminds me what a lovely community we have and thank you so much anyway where was i <laughs> this trap I'm not going to go into detail, detail, detail about every aspect to these tricks because there's no need. I'm going to do the important stuff and if you've got any questions, put it below. Trapped is a card found by a mousetrap. I saw Ruben do this in the session this year. Before that, I saw him do Salted. Now, I'm not going to properly review this because I haven't used it yet. But what I will say, this is a stunning, wonderful, brilliant, the best that I've seen salt pour gimmick there is. If you don't know what salt pour is, go and have a look. Give it a, a, a Google. There's some brilliant ones. I love Levent's one as well. This adds a bit and does more stuff. They're, they're good for different things. But, you know, every issue with the salt pour, he seems to have answered here. It's got so much to it. So if you're looking for a salt pour gimmick, have a look at Salted by Ruben and I'll do a proper review soon when I've actually properly played with it. But it's it's a corker as is this oh that's annoying sorry for those of you like me that's gonna ruin it for you um that's straight isn't it trapped is something way more simple but so much fun and it's it's a real joy to review this because i've put this in my show i've been doing street shows recently uh, paid street shows not going out busking and this has just been a great thing and the brilliant thing is i put this in the show uh, the night before i just tried it twice and put it in the show so this is a, a mouse trap, and you lower, you'll see it on the video, you lower this into a bucket after getting a card, a chosen sign, put in the deck, you put the deck in the bucket or whatever, you want a hat or whatever, um, as long as it's, you want it covered, and then lower that in, and then bring it out, and it's got the, the card back to the audience, so it's got this lovely image, and the sound, couldn't help it, and, sorry about that, and the sound, um, of a snap and you see the audience go boom like that especially in a bucket it sounds great put it out and then you've got the the moment of it being face face towards you which is lovely and then you you can get it pulled out of the mouse trap or you pull it out and show it to the audience great simple banging trick got lots of gun for it audible stuff you know the the excitement of sort of lowering it in the sound the, the anticipation of it brilliant and it's easy so easy. You're going to be able to do this straight. Well, well, the the use of this gimmick is easy. There are two ways of doing this. You can get a card sign and put it into the pack, put the pack in, in the bucket, which is the kind of, I suppose, more... Yeah, I mean, the, the, you're going to know, want to know a bit of sleight of hand, but, the, but you can put it also in the pack. You can put the card in the pack and put the pack in the in the bucket, which is great. More magical, I suppose, but a bit more faff. Not faff is... It's not, there's no arts and crafts or anything, but you're going to need something to allow that to work, which you're going to have, and it's going to be super easy. I like the f just putting the deck in there, I think it's nice, but to do it the way he teaches it, you're going to need a card control, which uh, one of which is quite difficult if you're not a slight person, but there are easier ways of doing it, and you can find your way. But I would say, in a roundabout way, it's easy. Angles aren't a problem because you've got the, the bucket or whatever it's going into, and I would also 
so you know setting the mousetrap now this is the thing this is a real mousetrap right the the difference is that the wood's been changed because if you get a real mousetrap and do it a few times it's just going to break and go all over the place so this isn't going to break it's tougher it's had it is gimmicked in a way that makes it work but you can set this in front of people but you have to be careful because this is a real mousetrap you can hurt your fingers and even with try i nearly did it because i'm such a clumsy idiot i was kind of set it and then put my finger in there and luckily i was fine i don't think you're gonna break your finger or anything like that but uh, but just know that you, you're going to have to be careful setting this. So if you're under a certain age, you're going to need adult supervision. I would feel more comfortable if you were over a certain age to do this, but I don't know what that age is. So there's the thing. All set. You do that in front of the audience, lower it, and clack. I haven't got the cards, but you know, see it on the video. That clacks down on the thing. So great. You know, the only thing is it's so good. It's quite quick. You know, just to do it as a routine on its own. I'm trying to find ways to kind of lengthen it and get some more comedy out of it and that's only because i haven't had it for long I'm, I'm sure a lot of people doing ruben does it really really well but i'm trying to find a way of putting it in a bigger routine but you know as an opener getting someone out you know how, how can we find out okay we're going to use this as soon as you get a mousetrap out it creates that sort of novelty the the, the brain goes oh what's going to happen now and it's it's an exciting thing so it's it's great it's easy it's brilliant not a lot more to say about it i probably said too much already um if you want a, a novel way that plays big that you can find a playing card, probably maybe even from a multiple selection or something. It, of course, it can be signed, um, trapped. And if you want a salt pour, I'll do a bigger review at some point, but, but um, have a look at Salted. So have a good one. Don't forget to check out onlinemagic.co and these. Use the links below and, uh, and like and subscribe if you like it and want to subscribe to it. Comment, ask questions, and I shall answer them. I promise.